G'day you cheeky devils, it is Jake again and we're back here on Motor Culture TV so thanks for tuning in. Today we finally got our hands on another classic car after you guys have been begging to see another one since our last Tirana giveaway. So we did get our hands on this VKSS Brocky and I'm super excited to show you around because this thing has a whole lot of attitude so let's go and check it out. Now let's check out what is hiding beneath the bonnet because no doubt you guys want to see this first. It has the iconic 308 motor, an upgraded cam and it's running with the MT20 4 speed manual transmission gearbox. Not to mention it's also had the upgraded cam and full exhaust system as well so you know this thing sounds absolutely incredible. Now let's talk about how it looks. When it came from factory you were given a couple of options. You had white, red and of course you had the Formula Blue as well and personally my favourite is the Formula Blue because it pops off with of course the white aero wheels which you again had an option for silver or white but I think paired with the white wheels with the Formula Blue paint job it really makes for a head turner on the road not to mention it looks stunning because it does have the HDT kit all around which stands for Holden Dealer Team. They've gone ahead and added on the front lip and of course the rear wing as well to make it really really stand out and it goes down to all the little details such as the detailing on the headlights all through to the details on the side of the car and at the back here which you'll notice Mr Peter Brock himself actually used this car in the Bathurst race. He won three times with this car and it definitely made an epic name for itself, which is why it is very, very popular. In fact, Peter Brock's car has, uh, yes, nice shape. Peter Brock's car actually sold for over a million dollars recently. So if you are wondering, is this a genuine one of 500 ever made that was genuine? Unfortunately not. This is a tribute, but it is as pretty much close as you're gonna to get to one of the 500. But I really wanna show you the interior. Something about getting into an old school car, isn't it? You love it, don't you, Jaddy? Yes, sir. <laughs> but of course, the interior, it's, uh, if you've never been in one of these cars before, it's a bit strange. You know why? It's blue. It's literally blue everywhere. I think that's why they gave it the name Blue Mini, right? It's got a super aggressive motor and it's just blue bloody everywhere. From the seats, which are very comfortable by the way, from the door cards to the dash. Of course, it's looking super retro and old school with the speedometer, the odometer, and even the stereo, which has a cassette player, which is gonna be handy for when I wanna, you know, kick back and listen to some Elvis Presley while I cruise down the streets, giving it some berries. <laughs> But I think enough chit chat. The other thing that I really like about this interior is the Momo steering wheel. And again, like I said, it is a tribute, but it closely resembles a genuine. But I think let's start it up. Let's go for a drive and see how it handles. We might have to make a stop. I need some new undies after that. Oh, daddy. Morning. Three away V8. Doesn't get much better than that, does it, JD? Unless, no, there's no unless. Did you bring the cassette or what? No. Why not? I don't know, we're listening to Ice Ice Baby. Yeah. I'm more of an Elvis Presley kind of guy, but. Grow up. <laughs> All right, so. Obviously, we're doing a bit of a joyride in the old Brocky. First thing you need to note is that no power steering, so you really got to put in the effort. But it means you can uh, take full control of the car, which is also a pretty nice feeling. And the other really nice thing about driving a car that's as old as this is, of course, uh, you don't really have a modern stereo in this day and age, but you don't really need it, do you? You just roll around with the windows down, listening to that glorious oh just doesn't get much better than that does it now look if you ask me this thing is about as aggressive as a Karen and a KFC on a Thursday night when they mark up an order but I'm more interested in what your favorite feature is so let us know down in the comments section what was your favorite feature if you love the video hit the like and of course subscribe for more content we're hitting more videos at you thick and fast so stay tuned and of course thank you so much for joining motoculture tv for another walkthrough adios